<clears throat> okay, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechakwadash. I want to give double honors to those and apostles of Great Millstone that will well, peace and salutations to Ayuaki, but there's push and truth, sincerity, always in charity. My name is the brother walking on here from the Great Millstone camp here in the morning. I will come to you with another lesson. Inspire Rechakwadash, the Holy Spirit, there was the hopeful elect rightly dividing the word of truth. Yahweh being the only father that exists, Bahasham means in the name Yahweh Shai is the only begotten son that everybody ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his real name being Yahweh Shai in the Paleo Hebrew. Okay, and um, this is really inspired all through the spirit, man. I was doing my personal read. I'm in Sirach, and, um, you know, <clears throat> I read this precept, man, and, um, you know, precepts just come, started to come in my in my mind, man, through the spirit of Yahweh Shai, Shai, and I, I thought I'd put it on wax, man, you know. Um, but Lord willing, this lesson will be edifying, as you see here on your screen, it says, fear not, okay, and that's what it's um, surrounding, okay, through the spirit. But nevertheless, let's get reading, and then uh, Lord willing, like I said, the lesson be exhorting, uh, edifying, straight to the point. This is um, Ecclesiasticus 22 and 16. As timber girt and bound together in a building cannot be loosened, was shaking, right, a building that, that is, uh, what is it, that fitly joined together, right, and it is... Uh, you know, put into the dirt deep, it says what? It says, and the building cannot be loosed with shaking. So if an earthquake comes, you know, but I'm applying it in a spiritual sense, okay? Uh, the fact of all these trials and tribulations, you know, turbulent winds and boisterous winds and, you know, different things that might shake our faith, you know, we're not supposed to be moved, okay? We're not supposed to be moved in any way, shape, or form. We're supposed to stay... Uh, steadfast, unmovable, constantly abounding in the work of the Lord and having trust in Him. Okay, but let's finish out the precept. Let me read it again. It says, Sirach 22 and 16, As timber girt and bound together in a building cannot be loosened with shaken, so the heart that is established by advised counsel shall fear at no time. Okay, and that's it. And how we get wise counsels. Okay, Psalms 119 and 24, it says, Thy testimonies are are my delight and my counselors that testimony goes to Ida, a precept okay so the volume of the book right is our counselor all right this is our comforter that we get advice from all right and different and, and brothers that are in the spirit it gives us advice through the holy spirit to what to better our life in any way either it's financial either it's diet uh you know exercise or whatever it may be you know us uh, um maybe emotional support you know, brothers is there. Brothers is there for that, man. You know, we're not supposed to be fearing. And if, you know, you're going into financial woes, hey, man, and you really don't got it, hey, hit the brethren up. Hey, brothers, you know, I'm, you know, I'm, 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 I'm missing maybe a hundred for the rent or, you know, in different cases, you know, different things present itself. But we're supposed not to fear. Why? Because we have Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. We have the spirit of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. And we got to pray to keep that. Like it says, uh, like David said, cast not the Holy Spirit away from me. Okay, we got to be praying that all the time, man. Okay, and it says, um, uh, I'll get this next precept that I got here lined up. All right, it says Ephesians 4 and 14. It says that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro, right? That's that's that building that cannot be shaken, uh, that cannot be moved with shaken. We're supposed to be built up and rooted up. Okay, and we'll get this. It says, uh, and we'll return back to these Ephesians 4. Okay, Colossians 2 and 7, it says, rooted and built up in him and established in the faith, right? It says, uh, going back to Sirach, it says, so the heart that is established by sound counsel shall not fear in no time. Or well, we're supposed to be established in the faith, okay? The things that we hear the apostles say or, you know, different brothers say, we got to go back and search those out like the church of Berea, okay? That builds up your faith, man. And now when you do that, you're you're not depending on no man. You're not uh, uh, going off what a man says. You're going off what the scriptures say, right? It says every man a liar, but let the uh, most high be true. And how do you do that? It's by going back to his precepts and actually uh, reading them, you know, actually doing the studies and actually uh, uh, being rooted in that, man. Nobody can tell you shit, man, when you know damn well you went back and checked that word for yourself or, or that precept for yourself. All right, or a little fact if a brother says, you know, this was built in 1945, something little as that. You go back and check it. Hey, that 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 brother's on point. Okay, we're supposed to be these this way. Okay. 
It says, uh, established in, in the faith, and we have been, that as we have been taught, abounding wherein with thanksgiving. We'll go back to this Ephesians 4 and, 7, uh, 4 and 14. That we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slide of men and the cunning craftiness whereby they light and wait to deceive. Okay? So we can't be moved by anything no, no one comes with. Even our own thoughts. All right? Why? Because we're our heart, <laughs> our heart is established in sound counsel, which is the scriptures. Okay? It says, um, Luke 6 and 48. It says, he, he is like a man which built in house and dig deep, right? That's us being, that cannot be loosened and shaken. Back to that Sirach 22, right? It says, and lay the foundation on a rock, right? Which is Yahweh Shai, our foundation on these scriptures, right? <laughs> Established by his advice council. It says, um, when the flood arose and streams beat vehemently upon that house, and could not shake it, for it was founded upon a rock. And that's the point. It dig deep. So we were, man, bro. Or hey, we we, uh, we're like a tree, uh, a tree that's rooted, that intertwines itself underneath. You know, because for example, when you look at a tree, right? I, I believe uh, we saw that uh, an experiment. You know, they planted some trees indoor, like an indoor facility, and. Um, and the, the trees were falling over when they got to a certain point, right? When they got to a certain height, and they didn't, they could, they could, they wouldn't know why it was happening. But then they figured out that it was the wind that kept, uh, you know, the tree from falling. And what I mean by that is when the, when the, uh, you know, the air hit it, you know, the wind hit it, it made that tree make his roots go deep. Okay, when that and the tree knew, like you know, that that these winds, hey, they could. Uh, they can push me over So therefore let me put my roots down deeper into the ground So I'm not moved Okay so I'm not dropped to the ground And that's how we're supposed to be in these uh, in this word man We're supposed to be established and rooted up uh, So like established and, root, uh, and built up <laughs> Okay In this in, the, in this thing man Alright that's what gives us the peace of mind Okay as we're going to read here This is a uh, 2 Timothy 1 and 7, it says, For Yahweh has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Okay? Knowing that we've been through certain things and we've trusted on the Lord and the Lord has gotten us through certain things already. This thing that we're about to go through, hey, this is nothing. Or what you're going through now, this is nothing. Why? Because the Lord has delivered us. We looked at the things of old. Okay, we've read in the scriptures. We've read, uh, we, you know, we remember of our, of our past things that, that we needed help on and the Lord was there. Okay, the Lord said he's not going to forsake us. That's what the Lord said, man. Okay, that's advice counselor. I think go back to the counselor, which is the scriptures, okay, and read about that, man. That's how you built up your faith. Okay, because we're entering in time, hard times. We're entering into Jacob's trouble. And we don't want to be doubting. It says, woe unto him that is double-hearted, okay, or faint-hearted. You know, I'm, I'm getting confused. It says, um, that should not, you should not be defending it that day. Okay, that's the rock, the second chapter. You know, the Lord said, if you ask of anything of me, nothing wavering, I shall give it to you. Nothing wavering means doubting. And of course you're going to be doubting if you haven't been doing what you're supposed to be doing. But hey, we got to be doing what we could, We got to be doing if we expect to be saved. Okay? To have that boldness and come boldness to the throne of grace, like it says in Hebrews, the fourth chapter. Okay? It says, um, Isaiah 41 and 10, it says, Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy power. That's why we got to be in a book, man. Right, we got to be reading these precepts each and every day so we can get affirmed. We can get uh, into that soil deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. Okay, because if you're not reading, you're not doing anything all day, every day, you're going to eventually fall down like that tree that had no wind. We got to constantly be doing something for the Lord each and every day, man. Each and every day. Read a precept, uh, a couple precepts, read a couple chapters, you know. Meditating, praying, you know, keeping us strong in the Lord. 
It says, um, verse uh, Isaiah, Isaiah 41 and 10 again, Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed. It says, for I am thy power. I will strengthen thee. Yeah, I will uphold thee. Uh, I will help thee. Yeah, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Okay? And who's sitting on the right hand of the Father? Is Yahweh Shai. And Yahweh Shai comes in the volume of the book. It is written of him, man. How can we learn of Yahweh Shai? We can read about him, man. Okay? That's how we uprooted. Uh, that's what we're uh, upholded in him. That's why he's in, that's how he's going to help us. Right? That's how we can combat different thoughts in our mind when Satan comes at us, man. Or different demons come at us and just uh, say all types of shit. But guess what? We're rooted in Yahweh Shai, man. We got a follow his example when he was uh when uh Satan came up to him on the mountain. Okay. Guess what? Yahweh Shai gave him the understanding of the scriptures. Yes, Satan brought scriptures, and yes, demons can come in your head and bring scriptures. That's a hundred percent true. But guess what? We gotta have the understanding with all that getting good understanding. Okay. It says, um, Salakia, Isaiah 26 and 3, it says, Thou will keep, keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed, uh, uh, stayed on thee, because he trusteth in him. So we got to stay, we got to, our mind got to be stayed on the Lord. Okay, it says, because, it says what? Because his mind is stayed on thee. So if we're abiding in Yahweh Shai and we're constantly thinking about the scriptures, we cannot fear, man. <laughs> there should be no fear. All right, I want to get this in Wisdom of Solomon as well. I know we read it in the line, you know, but it's always, it's a beautiful precept. Um, Wisdom of Solomon 6. <clears throat> this is Wisdom of Solomon 6. Um, in 11, it says, Wherefore, set your affection upon my words, right? Desire them, and they shall, and ye shall be instructed. And that's it. If we if we desire the advice, the counsel that we read in that Surah twenty two a, we shall be instructed. Okay. It says wisdom is glorious and never fadeth away. Yeah, she is easily seen of them that love her, and found as such as seek her. And I'm gonna jump down. Let me go down fourteen real quick. Um. Yeah, 14 real quick. We'll read to uh, 16. It says, Whoso seeketh her early shall have no great travail, for she uh, and he shall find her sitting at his doors. To think upon her is perfection of wisdom, and whoso watcheth for her shall quickly be without care, without fear. Okay? We're not going to be worrying about nothing. Why? Because we are watching for her. We are thinking upon the words of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. We're not thinking about how we're going to eat. We're not thinking about how we're going to do this, how we're going to do that. Why? Because the Lord is going to do that for us. It says, verse 16, it says, For she goeth about seek as are worthy of her, showeth, her, uh, showeth herself favorably unto them in the ways, and meeteth them in every thought. That's it, man, right? If you show yourself, if you're not neglecting wisdom, She's going to meet you at every thought. Okay? And the Lord, hey, the Lord sees us worthy, brothers. We, we got this wisdom. And it says here, it says, It goeth about seeking such as are worthy of her. So if you got this wisdom, hey, the Lord sees you worthy, man. We got to ask ourselves, are we living up to that? Are we walking in the ways of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai when no one's around? That's what brings the confidence. If you is, that's what brings the confidence, man. And if you ain't, hey, we got to, hey, if we ain't, all right, we got to examine ourselves, man. All right? And do the first works. Because, hey, crunch time is coming, man. There ain't no time to play around. All right? There ain't no time to bullshit. Ain't no, ain't no time to, 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 to lally gag right now, man. Right? Hey, it's, it's a heavy time right now we're living in, man. Okay, it's a heavy, heavy time. It says, um, let me get this real quick, this last one, and then we could end it. It says, uh, Deuteronomy 31 and 6. Be strong and of a good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid of them. For the Lord thy power, it says, he is, Salakia, he it is 
that doeth go Salakia. Let me read that again. He is he it is that goeth with thee, he will not fail thee nor forsake thee. Okay, and that's it. The Lord's not gonna uh, he's with us each and every day, man. He's with us, he's not just with you on the line, he's not just with you, you know, when you're with brothers. No, he's with you, man. He with us. Each and every day. The Lord deals with us each and every day. The Lord is there each and every day. Okay? Don't forget that, man. The, the, hey, the Lord's there to, to, to help us, man. Right? We just got to trust in him, though. 100%, man. No, nothing wavering. No doubting, man. All right? But Lord, one of the lessons was edifying Akiyam. Something had my spirit. Like I said, that that <laughs> that Sirach 22 sparked this lesson. You know, and um, like I said, Lord Willing was ex exhorting, you know, edifying to the brothers and little, uh, little <laughs> Salaki, the few sisters that are listening and, uh, and learning in silence. Okay, I want to give our praise to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Hakwadash. I want to give double honors to those apostles of Great Millstone that are well. Peace and salutations to Ayu Akim at their splendid sincerity, I was in charity. Shalom, Akim. Till next. <laughs>